Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a modern suburban house. This house has a balcony, a large garage, a porch, a large open plan lobby that leads into a kitchen, slash dining area, slash living room. Upstairs, we are led onto a landing, which takes us out onto the balcony if we so choose. Down our hallway, we are led to a large bedroom outfitted with a TV, wardrobes, a table, a bed, and if we come all the way to the end of the hallway, we will have a nice large bathroom with a bath, toilet, a sink, unit space. I often get asked to make the inside of my builds as well. If you guys would like to see an interior tutorial for the house, if you would like to see a separate video where I show you how to do all of the inside block for block and the outside too, please let me know down in the comment section and more importantly, if this video hits 1,500 likes, which is a lot, then I will 100% make the video for you. So you'll just have to let me know by leaving a comment. If this video hits 1,500 likes, I will 100% do it, and that'll let me know that you guys really do want to see it. But without any further ado, let's get started. Here are all of the materials that we will need to make our house. Please do make sure that you have access to all those materials and enough of them as well. And now that we have all of our stuff, we can get started. So the first thing that we are going to do is place a row of five white concrete extending up from the ground. One, two, three, four, five. We then want to extend to the right by 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I want you to join all the way down to the ground. I want you to take this vertical row of white concrete that we have and I want you to extend it forwards by two rows. So one and two. I then want to take the top row and I want you to extend it to the right by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're then going to extend down to the ground. We're going to take the block that hit the ground and we're going to go right towards us and then right by two one two we're then going to extend towards us and go up by nine one two three four five six seven eight nine we're then going to go right by eight one two three four five six seven eight and then we're going to extend all the way down to the ground just like this. We're going to take the block that hit the ground and we're going to go back and right by two, one, two. We're then going to extend backwards by 19, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. We then want to take that 19th block and we want to extend across the back of the build by four. One, two, three, four. And then place yourself three glass paint. One, two, three. Place four more white concrete. One, two, three, four. And then extend inwards by three. So one, two, three. As a matter of fact, there's going to be a double door here. So if you like, you can destroy two blocks in the ground going right with whatever material you might want to use for a ground material inside. I might go for polished andesite, but I might also change that. So all I'm going to do is just place some andesite and then a double door. What we are then going to do is we are going to continue going right of the door and we want to place ourselves seven white concrete so one two three four five six seven just like this but in addition to this what we also want to do is we want to take the block left of the doorway area here and we want to raise it up by nine so one two three four five six seven eight nine 
and we want to go to the right by eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you can actually join that down to the ground. You should find that that actually doesn't connect to the row that we just made. That's actually perfectly fine. What we want to do with this row, the sticky out block that we kind of have here, is we want to place two glass in front of it. One, two. We then want to place a white concrete in front of that. We then want to place five glass going left, one, two, three, four, five, and then stick a white concrete on the end. And this is going to be the outline for a porch that we're actually going to be making a little bit later on. Uh, what are we then going to do? Well, we want to come all the way back to this singular block again, right here, and we want to extend it to the right or forwards as it is by two, so one and two. Uh, we then want to extend the block to the right, and we want to line it up with the very first block that we ever placed. We want to drag it forward. And all in all, once you have completed that, you should end up with this shape right here. So this is what the house should actually look like once it has been... Once the foundation for the build has been made, so it's looking pretty good if I do say so myself. So all we have to do now, of course, is we just have to add some details to this thing. So we can do that. First thing, what we're going to do, we'll start from pretty much, we'll, we'll start here from where we started the build and we'll work our way clockwise. We're going to first of all add a row of white concrete up the left side of the garage door area here on the left and we need to add two rows on the right side to make it even, like this. We need to have a garage door so that is going to be made out of quartz stairs. These rows of quartz stairs are simply going to be stacked on top of each other like this inside the empty space that we have inside. We're going to place a lining of light grey concrete around the quartz stairs as then if you have a look from the outside you'll actually get kind of like a shadowy look around these stairs which is quite pleasant um, we can also lay the foundation for the roof of this thing so if you place a layer of polished and inside slabs across the top of the front of the garage and you have the slab extend outwards like this later on we will be extending the slab in and up and in and up coming towards the top back part of the garage or we could even do it now i suppose if you raise up the side of the garage so that it is as at least as high as the front of the garage so if you just raise up the left side of the garage here this is going to be the outer part of the build and if we raise up the back part of the garage as well just so that it's as high as the light gray concrete that you can just see ahead of us over there then we can add the frame in for the roof and then we can fill it in a little bit later so we'll want to have the same sort of deal so on the back of the garage we won't add the entire row now but on the back of the garage we'll also want a similar row of andensite slabs and we'll want to extend these slabs in and up and in and up and in and up and eventually they'll want to join together in the middle so these two rows on the front and the back as i said they will want to join together in the middle just kind of like this perfect we can fill the center of the top of the roof in just on the side here with some white concrete like this and that is looking pretty good we'll do more with that later what do we want to do now well we have to make the actual entrance so the entrance is here just right of the garage and we want to place two rows of white concrete extending backwards so one two on this right side that will remain even with that left side over there and this and basically what we can then do is we can take the inside here and we can uh, we can place a door right in the middle of this empty space. So I'm just going to destroy that, place a polished down inside, stick a door there. And then I did originally want to have glass block for the door. I'm sure that it will be in the item list, but I just so happen to have forgot it at the moment. I'm going to place some black glass block completely surrounding the door. I'm going to place white concrete all the way around the glass block like this. So the entrance will look a little bit sunken in and it's just a little bit more interesting to have something that looks a little bit like that. Um, you can join it together at the top like this using a bit of white concrete like so. We have to make a balcony just above this area here so what I'm going to do is take the outer row of white concrete that we have and I'm going to add another row on top. I'm then going to take the left side and I'm going to add one, two, three white concretes on top and the right side, one, two, three, 
directly on top like this. I want to take the left side of this and I want to extend backwards by four. So one, two, three, four, like so. And I'll do the same on the opposite side. So one, two, three, four. This kind of has to be filled in. So I'm going to be using some andensite for this just to kind of keep consistent with the color scheme. And what I'm then going to do is kind of just create an entrance area. So I have to raise up this back pair of white concrete to be as high as the front pair of white concrete, like this. I have to create a doorway, so there'll be a double door here on the left. I want a separation using white concrete like this right in the middle of them. And I might even make the white concrete a tad a little bit higher as well. I might make them all one row higher, and then that means that we'll have a higher ceiling. I'll join the white concrete together at the back, that is not necessary with the front. I'm going to add a glass block above the double door and I'm simply going to fill the right side in using glass pane. I can join this area here to the front of the build using white concrete and I can place black stained glass pane around the edge of the balcony area here. And then that gives you a pretty good look. So we have a nice balcony overlooking our entrance. We have our entrance and we have a garage. Well, what do we want to do for the area just to the right here? We can raise up the white concretes that we have in this corner shape to be as high as the white concretes that kind of surround us. We don't really have to shape them yet. So just like this on the left, and we can do the same on the right side as well. We can just raise up all the white concretes to be as high as the others. Perfect. Okay, so what about this middle part? This middle part, we want to have three rows of glass directly underneath it. So one, two, three. There'll be three solid rows of glass. I then want to place... I don't know whether to use light grey concrete for this. I'm going to use two rows of light grey concrete directly underneath the glass area here. I'm going to split it in the middle using white concrete, a vertical row of white just like this, right? And what I'm then going to do is I'm going to place light grey concrete on the left side here, just on the inside, and on the right side here, just on the inside as well. I want to fill the top part in using glass like this. So all of this just wants to be filled in with glass. It's quite a feature. It's a large window like so. These are also two large windows. So these also want to be filled in with glass specifically at this point. You see, we're going to extend the light gray concrete once we have added all of these windows. So all this light gray concrete that we have, we're going to extend one row forwards, okay? So the whole lot. So the sides, the top, just one row forwards. We're then going to fan it out on the left and right sides like this. We may even get rid of the rows of white that are behind it to make it look a little bit better. So that looks pretty good. And I don't know whether I like the white as it is like that, or I don't know whether I would my bad. Or I don't know whether I would like that a little bit better. I think that that may look a tad bit cleaner, but that's going to be a personal choice. You can do whichever you like. So just like that, I think that looks pretty good. We're getting some complexity to this build now. So what are we going to do next? You may be wondering to yourselves. Well, I think that we're going to build up the entire side of the build. The side of the build is going to be built up in the same way as the front of the build. We're just going to use loads and loads of white concrete to make it as high as the rest of the area, pretty much. I mean, that's all there is to it. So just as high as the rest of the area, um, that'll be, I want to say, nine rows directly on top, so it may take a little while. And you may be also wondering why are there no windows on this side of the build? There will be once we tackle the interior, but for now, without knowing what the layout's going to be, I'm not going to add any windows. Let's come towards the back of the build now. So the back of the build is actually quite cool as well. On the back of the build, we're going to want to begin by extending the white concretes up as high as all of the rest of the white concrete. So we, again, a sense of consistency, we want to keep them all as high as each other. So 
all of this. It's going to be a little bit more interesting than this though when we finally do get to it as we will be adding a splash of light grey as is consistent with the build. The build is pri primarily white and grey which is a cool combination that I do quite like. It's very very modern. Also feels a bit suburban as well. At the bottom we want to have three rows of windows so we already have the one, two, three. There will then be, I want to say, three rows of one, two, three white concrete directly above. We could even perhaps make the windows one row larger as they are on the front, so we may make them four instead of three. I, it doesn't really matter, it's, it's you know, kind of up to you. Um, it's just a little bit similar to the front then, and then we want to place white concrete above. And completely up above this is going to be glass, by the way. So glass is actually going to go from this point in between these two rows of white, and it'll actually go all the way up to the apex of the roof. So we'll just leave it as that. Uh, left and right of this, we're going to have rows of light gray concrete. So light gray concrete are going to sit either side of the windows. And it's just going to kind of frame the back of the house. It looks quite cool like this. I really like uh, I really like the effect, and I like the fact that it's offset slightly. It's not symmetrical. Okay, what about this area? Well, we're going to completely fill this area in with white concrete. It's not going to stay that way, but we're going to start it off that way. This area, filled in with white concrete, is going to have a multitude of windows. So. What windows do we want to add? There's some at the top of the build. If we start from the left side and we drop down by one and we destroy a row of two and we leave a gap and then destroy a row of one, two, three, four, and if we drop these windows down two rows, these are the windows that we want to have. We can fill these in with black stained glass paint as this is a nice contrast between the white. I, I never pointed out why I use black glass, but hopefully it's quite obvious is that it's a really nice contrast. It's It really sticks out. Um, down below here, this is a back door. You can place glass if you want above the back door or don't, it's up to you. And right of this, leaving a gap of one, we want to have a two by two window using glass pane again. So just like this. I want to take the porch and I want to destroy underneath all of the glass pane portions of the porch. I'm going to replace it with white concrete. Then take the middle area of the porch, so all of this grass here, and I'm going to place andensite. I'm using andensite for a lot of flooring, but um, you can easily just change that. Stone would also look nice as well. I'd encourage you to use some sort of grey block if you were, if you want to kind of keep things consistent. I need to join the front and the back of the build together. So the uh, the balcony that we have on the front of the build wants to connect towards the back porch on the back of the build. Um, this is achieved just by placing a few rows of white concrete towards the top and a little bit of white concrete at the bottom, like this. We have to have an overhang for the porch. All we're going to do is take the corner of the porch, the outward corner, and we're going to place one, two white concrete blocks on top. Place and sight on top of that, join it to the garage, join it to the side of the build, place polished and sight slabs around the base of the and sight like this, and then we want to slowly build up the top of the porch area using and sight slabs like this. That looks fantastic. We can now do the garage roof. The garage roof is very easy. We simply extend the and site that we placed earlier across to the house. Um, it's, it's basically a mixture of and site slabs and and site blocks. So, as I always recommend, it's almost getting a bit repetitive the way that I do these roofs, but I, I like this so much more than stairs. Really do. I, I love this roof so much, so much better than stairs. Um, Extend all of the solid and sight blocks towards the center of the build so this will cover the majority of the roof and then finish up by placing these slabs in between it. So it will just look way better this way, like this. The slabs in between, just like that. That's looking pretty good. And then on the back here, same thing. So this will complete the roof and this will actually be the same way that we tackle the large roof just all at the top here. So when it comes to the large roof, um, 
it doesn't, it doesn't really matter which side we start, whether we start on the front or the back or just on the side here. What What's important is that we... Um, how do we do this? I want to make sure that this is done correctly. So, on the right side of the build, we're going to place a row of andesite slab. The andesite slab wants to be extended forwards, and it wants to overhang the white concrete area of the build and be level with the light grey concrete area. The andesite slabs then want to get extended inwards and upwards until they line up with the centre part of the large part of the build, so the main part of the build. That means that at its peak, it will be even and level with the row of white concrete that we have down below us. We can then extend the andesite slabs left and down and left and down and left and down and left and down and left and down, and left and down until eventually they are even with the opposite side because it's a little bit more fluid on the left side than it is the right as to where this should go. Um, when it comes to this roof, this roof is also a little bit weird in the fact that we kind of want to extend the andesite backwards, the slabs, it wants to wrap around the top of the balcony area here, and it kind of wants to then go all the way back towards the back of the house. So we kind of have a, uh, we have a twofold sort of roof, and then it will come all the way to the left, it will join here, and then... I, and then we'll just have to see how that all joins together. So um, we're then going to take the andesite on the side of the roof. We'll extend it backwards. We'll make the same peak as we did on the front of the roof. I don't know whether to overhang the andesite on the back of the build. No, you know what? We'll make it even with the light gray concrete again. And we'll build it into the roof. So we're going to make the same shape using the andesite slabs here. We'll make sure that it is the same as the front. So that would be the apex. Uh, it's it, with the middle of the window. We can start bringing it down again and then we can see precisely how it's all just going to join together so um, where would it be it would come this far down here and then we can just join it to the little mini part of the roof that we just made there um, things get a lot easier if you just place the solid and site blocks that really does help to kind of um, help to kind of just frame things a little bit so we can then extend these slabs over here and then I was contemplating on, hang on, <laughs> being being tricky. So there we go. And then I was contemplating on making this part of the roof like I was I was thinking about making um, making it kind of like a little bit taller. So adding like a couple of rows of andesite, just kind of like extending inwards like this, and and that would join there, of course. Um, but I don't know how high I would want to make it, or maybe I, I should just leave it at that. I'll do the main part of the roof, and uh, that's something that you could also decide for yourself as well. You could kind of figure out whether you wanted to have that left side kind of like blend in, or whether you want to keep it a little bit flatter. That's probably a personal choice. I may keep it flatter, just so that there is a little bit of variation with the roof, but... We'll see. We'll see. We'll see um, how we feel about it. So let's place all of this andesite just like this. Here. Here. It might also be easier as well, by the way. On the back of the build, we are going to place... Not polished andesite. We're going to extend the light grey concrete upwards. This will join to the roof. We also want to then... What would make it easier is if we extend the white upwards behind it and we want to place glass in between the rows of white and the light gray and it just basically just wants to extend all the way up to the top of the build like this so you can see the it, the glass window is actually built in and it looks quite cool um, fill in any gaps on the front and the back of the build anywhere that you uh, anywhere that you see gaps so like at the top of the build here of course we're going to want to place all of this white concrete like this and it just looks pretty good like that and then we can continue adding in the have we done all these solid rows i think we've done all the andesite blocks so we just have to place these slabs extending forwards and backwards and back and forth forth and back like this here oh that this entire side isn't done i <laughs> i had a feeling that we had, we'd already done that but i was completely wrong no surprise there so that is the main roof done, I want to say. I'm pretty sure that that is the main roof done. As we have a look at the back, we have completely filled... Oh, there, I, see, I see a little white concrete block that just needs place in there. That's perfect. 
And then for this, I'm going to completely fill the top of this in using polished andensite slabs like this. If you want, you can raise the height of the roof. I'm going to keep it flat. Um, raise the height of the roof, all I mean is that you would slowly extend up slabs so that it kind of like met the roof and then you'd have uh, a completely different shape really. But um, like you turn this, this left side of the house here, like you'd add an apex to it if you wanted to, and um, it could look um, it could look cool. But I'm keeping with the kind of like flat part of the roof, and that is, ladies and gentlemen, let's have a good look around this. This is what your house should look like once it is pretty much fully completed in terms of structure. This is the outside part of the house, pretty much done. The structure of the house is it's ready to be filled in on the inside. It's ready to have a garden added to it on the front and the back. Back, it's ready to go. Now, I am not going to be personally doing that block by block for you because I expect that you'll probably want to fill your house in in a specific way to yourself. You'll probably want to decorate it in a way that you really, really like for yourself. But just to give you an idea of what the house will look like, I'm going to go away. I'm going to fill the inside of the house in for you. I'm going to add a little bit of a garden to the front and the back, and I'll show you what it could look like if you're lacking a bit of inspiration. But, um, I'll be back in a second, I'll do all that, and then I'll show you what the entire finished product will look like. So this is what your modern house will look like once it has been 100% fully completed. I have added a border around the house, I've added a small garden next to the porch on the back, I have continued the border, we have some terracotta, some hedge, we have windows on the side, you'll see what rooms they correspond to. On the front we have a very simple driveway and we have some very simple bordering with some ferns and some leaves and a little bit of sand as well. As we head inside of the house we have a really cool setup. So this is the hallway, it's nice and open, you have a few different choices you can go upstairs, you can go into the garage, which unfortunately doesn't have anything in it. Should have probably have made a car. Um, downstairs, we have a large open plan area. We have a small seating area, we have a little living room with a TV, and we have a kitchen. So it's kind of with a little bit of a breakfast bar and a table. It's very modern feel inside here. I really, really like it. It's so simple, but it, it works so well. It's such a large, nice open space. Um, we have a nice rug that leads to the back garden, of course. As we head upstairs, we have a landing area where we have some lights. We have a little bit of a rug. We can go out onto the balcony if we so choose. As we head down this hallway, we have some pictures on the wall. We have a lamp. Uh, as we head to the end of the hallway, we have a bathroom, nice big open airy bath, toilet, we have uh, some counter space. It's, it's just like a really nice big open house. It, it feels so big inside here, even though it's not, it's not even like completely filled in, it just feels... It just feels nice and big, like um, it doesn't feel cramped at all. We have a bed in here. This is the bedroom, the one and only bedroom. We have a double bed, a lamp. We have a cool light fixture. We have a TV at the end of the bed. We have a table. We have a couple of wardrobes and that's pretty much it ladies and gentlemen like that's the entire inside of the house it's such a simple design but it works so well. Hopefully you got a little bit of inspiration from that or maybe some sort of idea. And that's it. I do hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please do remember to hit that like button as it really helps me in the channel out very, very much. If you're new around here, please do consider subscribing, clicking the little bell next to the subscription button. I'll ensure that you get all my stuff sent directly to your sub box. And if you want to see anything else by me, check out the card system in the description below in the top of the comment section for more. I do get asked a lot to make interior tutorials for videos, and I'm very, very happy with this one. So. If you guys do want to see that, you'll have to let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all very much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.